Alrighty, welcome back to Griddle Cook Eat More for another adventure. Today we're doing the St. Paul sandwich. St. Paul sandwich is uh, said to become, come from St. Louis. It was uh, derived in uh, Chinese restaurants and chop suey places. And uh, some guy that had a Chinese restaurant or visited St. Paul, I think got the idea. Some say it may have came from St. Paul, Minnesota, but a lot of people say it originated in St. Louis. But it's huge in St. Louis area, uh, in the city. Uh, in like the uh, North County area, uh, a lot of the uh, chop suey places and Chinese places all have this sandwich. Anyways, basically the St. Paul sandwich is a uh, egg foo young patty. It's deep fried, you know, so it's basically a fried omelet that goes on white bread with some condiments. So we're going to show you how to do it. So let's check out the ingredients. All right, so this good old white bread, got an egg, got bean sprouts, onions, green onions, and then uh, you can get a uh, choice of meat in there, pork, beef, shrimp, chicken, basically the ones they have at uh, Chinese restaurants. Um, actually, I'm going to do some uh, smoked brisket I had, so that's going to be my meat. Uh, we're going to use, uh, they typically use mayonnaise or Miracle Whip, so we're using Miracle Whip on the bread. Uh, lettuce, pickles, and normally they put tomato, but I'm not a big tomato fan. Also, we got a little cornstarch as a binder, and then we got some shake that all-purpose seasoning to season that patty when it's done. Uh, we'll be using the Halo griddle. Um, we are heating up the grease right now, doing a little more deep fry action on it. Uh, so once that gets hot, we'll be ready to go. Hey, this is Doug with Griddle Cook Eating More. Just stopping by to tell you about a couple things. First thing is, I started a Facebook group called Halo Elite Griddles and More. So if you're a Halo owner or interested in purchasing Halo, definitely check it out. And then second off, after I started uh, doing videos with my Halo griddle, on YouTube and started this Facebook uh, page or group. Halo did reach out to me and we started talking back and forth. Uh, so about a week and a half ago, I had an idea, you know what, let's see if they'll uh, uh, do a discount code for me, you know, that I can share with uh, my Facebook group and also my YouTube channel, because I get a lot of people, uh, to both, that are interested in purchasing a griddle and just out there looking for information, as we all do. So. And when I purchased my griddle, there wasn't really any information out there on it, but I just bought it on a whim because it looked badass, uh, which thankfully it turned out it was badass and I love the griddle. So, but anyways, back to the discount code. So they did uh, agree on doing it. So they did provide me a discount code. Now this discount code I got, it actually went live today. And this discount code is good for 10% off and it's anything on their website, on the Halo Products uh, website. Uh, so not only do they have griddles, and if you don't know or if you have looked at their website, they do also have a line of pellet grills, and, and then they also have a pretty cool pizza oven too. So you can get 10% off any of that, so you can get you a griddle, you can buy all three, whatever, and it's also good for accessories and all that good stuff. So the discount code that we did set up is DOUG10, so that's D-O-U-G, my name, one zero and it's all caps so you just use that at checkout uh, when you're purchasing whatever you want on there and also uh, I was just on the website the other day looking uh, they just added onto the website uh, Halo t-shirts so I'm uh, actually gonna get one of those ordered up um, so if you want a Halo t-shirt they do I just happen to notice it on there I think yesterday they made the day before so get on the website uh, get you a Halo t-shirt and get 10% off of that also so but that's it I uh, just wanted to tell you about those couple things so Back to the video. All right, grease is getting pretty close there, so let's uh, get this built up here. So we we're gonna start with our brisket, get that thrown in there. Get our green onions. Some bean sprouts, regular onions. We're use some cornstarch as a binder. Uh, and one egg. Let's get that mixed up. All right, grease is hot, ready to go. So we're gonna use a ladle here. I'm gonna lay it in there. We 
can add some more on top here. Just like that. Pretty good square, so that'll work with the bread. I uh, usually try to get it round, but that's gonna work out good. Uh, we're gonna fry this for a good amount of time, uh, longer than egg, so we're probably gonna let this go uh, two or three minutes uh, right there, and then we're gonna flip it, and uh, finish the other side, and then we're gonna build, so. All right, I think we're gonna flip it here. It's probably been a couple minutes in there so far. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the burners, because this thing's got some crazy residual heat, so it's gonna keep hot. It's still at 360. We start at 375, so. Not to get this thing to fall apart too much. That's a good, it's a big boy. All right, there we go. I probably could have used less uh, ingredients in there along with the egg. So went overboard. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a big one. So it'll be good. It'll all work out. Give her another couple minutes, and we're gonna be in the money. All right, well that thing's finishing up. Let's get our uh, bread set up here. So we're going to do our Miracle Whip. I like a lot of Miracle Whip. Do lettuce on the bottom. And then our pickles will go on top. Right, let's go ahead and get this thing out. All right, that's a massive one. Let that thing cool there for a second on the rack, drip off. And while it's sitting there, let's get a little seasoning on it. All right, let's get that thing stacked on there. Pickles, bread, and wow. Let's give it a cut. that bad boy up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, we're gonna get set up to take a bite of this thing. All right, let's grab this bad boy up. Get a nice picture of that. Ooh. All right, it's a messy one, here we go. Oh yeah, it's, this is good. Adding that smoked brisket to it, amazing. It just steps up that game over the restaurant where they just got your basic ham, shrimp, beef, or pork, so. All right, that one's a winner for sure. Freaking delicious. A little big, I probably made it double the size of a normal one would be that you get at a restaurant, but what the hell, who cares? It's for me, so. We'll call it a Jumbo St. Paul. But that's it for this one. Uh, we will see you on the next one.